today I have something really cool to show you all. These are the Cafelot Robot Thundies, thermal underwear, preheaters for your robot. What this does is this preheats the piston in your robot. This is made by my friend Curls. This is made out of BPA-free Triton plastic. It is really nice. All you do is there's a line inside, you pour the boiling water up to the line, you then take the thundies and you put it where your portafilter is. Same basic structure like your portafilter. So a lot of people over the years, they've been taking cups and they've been trying to preheat the piston. Uh, there is even a technique where you pour water directly into here. Now, I don't know if you should fully do that if you have the pressure gauge, but my friend Fam uh, did it in the video here. The entire point is let's try to get this thing as hot as possible. Now, what has been nice about the robot is you actually don't have to preheat it. If you're pulling mediums, even medium lights, I've found that you kind of don't actually have to do much of this work. You can get away with a lot of these things and still get a very tasty shot. And that's what's awesome about the robot is it's really minimal fuss work to get a good shot. All this preheating stuff will really help you build a bit more consistency as well as it will help you expand the styles of shots that you can pull and pull reliably. And that's what the Thundy allows you to do. What we find out is that across the span of 20 to 40 seconds, the temperature does significantly drop if you don't do any sort of preheat. And with shots that take 40 seconds to a minute long, you want to have this as temperature stable as possible. And we do like a declining temperature, but it's nicer to start with a higher temperature and a more stable temperature. Just wanna interrupt the video real quick by thanking today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online courses and members across 150 countries. You can basically learn about anything you want. And when you sign up, you can get personalized suggestions and explore pretty much any topic you want. I've actually been really enjoying a class from Michael Phillips. He's the director of training at Blue Bottle Coffee. I've never seen a class that just breaks down complex coffee topics in such an easy and digestible way. And that's seen in Michael's class from plant to cup, brew an amazing cup of coffee. I just love how simple Michael makes it to understand how to take a complex topic like tasting coffee and taking a property such as acidity and interpreting that as a flavor note in cup when you drink coffee. And that's just because of how these topics are broken down in a really easy digestible lesson format that you can find when you use Skillshare. I also really like that there is a transcript for each of the sections of the video so you ensure that you don't miss anything. If you want to learn from people just like Michael, you can use the link below. The first thousand people to use the link below or code Brian Kwan will receive one month free of Skillshare. We're going to take our Thundy, Robot Thundy. We're going to pour water in here. We're going to preheat this. We're going to preheat the piston. So all I'm doing is I'm pouring up to the line here. There is a very distinctive line. We take our Thundy. Be careful not to uh, burn yourself with it. What is nice is that this plastic does keep things pretty well cooled. So you don't actually burn yourself even though I just put boiling water in here. We then have to, of course, align the portafilter in the robot and keep the piston down for this. And this is always a little hard to do. Screw it in until it locks. And you'll sort of notice that the actual boiling water is touching the piston. And this up here is going to uh, start to get warm. We leave that there. And while this is all happening, you can be preheating your portafilter. And this is what I like to do is I take my paper filter. I'm just gonna stick it into uh, the bottom of this portafilter here. And all I'm gonna do is I am just gonna begin doing a steam preheat as well as this is going to also help our paper filter become uh, wetted before we actually pull uh, the shot. And then I can grind the coffee while all of this is happening. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You can do all of this at the same time. Pulling a filter 2.0, so things are pretty coarse. All right. Our portafilter is nice and hot. I am uh, definitely sweating here, but you know, you can also pre-wet your filter traditionally as well. Piston here is getting warmer. Um, and what we can do now is we can actually just begin prepping our puck. This is scalding hot. Now we're just gonna pour the coffee in there, prep the puck, pull a shot, very straightforward. 
and I've been really enjoying uh, these types of shots. Sometimes it's harder to do these weird profiles on um, these machines because they don't retain heat for so long. So small innovations like this really, really make our lives a lot easier. So here we go. Okay, just wanted to add this part in real quick is uh, just a super quick temperature measurement. The other guy did a way better job because he had a probe that actually fits into the water, but we'll see what we can get with this real quick. So just touching the, the surface of this piston, this is like basically room temp. It might be a little colder. We're getting 27 Celsius. Fill up to the line. For reference, what we, if we lose any temperature here, we're probably losing a few degrees here, yeah. So the water coming out of here is like 88 Celsius. Also, I'm not 100% sure how accurate my measurement device is, but once we take this boiling water, stick it into the thundy there, have the piston uh, start getting heated up, Let's see the outside of this getting warm. This is just a plastic, by the way. The body of the robot also seems to have gone up in temperature just by a little. I'm just gonna take this off. It's been touching for about 45 seconds, you know, a minute or so. Let's touch this here. Much higher, 60. It's definitely getting up there. And it seems like because this is hotter, and of course you're adding boiling water into the portafilter, that helps you maintain the higher temperature. So if you saw on the graph, there's one that's just kind of a straight drop, no preheat. That actually, I think, works completely fine for some of these darker roast coffees. But for lighter roast and those long, long profiles, you're going to want to make sure this is as warm as possible for the longest period of time. I do wanna note that you wanna be a little bit careful with how much water you fill in. If you put too much, that boiling water is gonna come out, you're gonna burn your precious fingers. But we have our preheated portafilter here, we're ready to go, but I've let this sit for probably this entire period of time. You know, starting with that higher temperature is going to be much better. When we pour that boiling water in, this piston isn't gonna suck all of our heat Away. Just realized that uh, the machine is flipped the wrong way, so we need, do need to have it facing me before I uh, go and do this. But I'm just going to pour in my boiling water here. All right, and it's always hard to do on camera. Let's actually lock in this portafilter. Tilt it. There we go. Okay. And we could, uh, took, we could also take a little bit extra time because our piston is uh, preheated. But now what I'm going to do is I am going to pull a filter 2.0 recipe. Now I let this sit. We're going to fast forward or cut in a, at a minute and 30. Uh, so this is like kind of my basic filter 2.0, 2.1 recipe. This is actually Charles' recipe. We just push down a little until we see the first few drops. Let that sit for about a minute and a half. And then we're gonna push down really, really lightly up until, uh, and the, our pressure, we're gonna target around half a bar, less than half a bar. Just, we don't want this pressure case to really move much. We're gonna push down and we're gonna end up about uh, 75, 80 grams or however much you can jam into this thing. We're also using a 18 gram dose. Uh, so we pull kind of long, you know, you can adjust this recipe to be one to three, one to five, however much you want, and then you can dilute. But this is kind of the basic process with the robot, assuming everything uh, goes well, of course. And it makes it a lot easier. You know, this th this, the Thundies just really makes it a lot easier. Uh, you can kind of take a little bit longer time with things. The temperature doesn't drop too, too much as long as, uh, you know, you actually properly preheat things and um, does make the overall experience of the robot a, a little bit more forgiving, even though I already think this experience is very, very forgiving. So, yeah. Okay, minute and a half, push down. Keeping that pressure super low. 
do think the grind on this was maybe a little finer than it could have been. But it probably should taste fine. And our total shot time usually ends up around like 210, 230-ish. Or two minutes in this case. So I end up with 82 grams. And there we go. Here's our filter 2.0. You can drink it straight or you can dilute. So we got our 80 gram shot and um, you know, this is all getting nice and warm, but it helped us, the, but really the thundies really just help us maintain uh, temperature up there. I'm just gonna take this filter 2.1 shot and pour it over ice. This is about 80 grams, this is a, a 100 grams of ice and uh, we're just gonna dilute it because we can do stuff like that. These thundies are super, super convenient. It really lets us pull the, this style of shot uh, much more consistently. Yeah, it's, it's hot in here. It's hot because these thundies are hot, but this fil ice filter 2.0, really good stuff. Maybe I'll make a video on it that's interesting. Mm, tastes good. But basically, if you wanna order this, DM my friend Charles on Instagram, charles.coffee. And if you have any questions, please let him know. I think this is a really great design already. I think maybe adding a handle on here would be a little bit nicer, or, you know, I think already some of you guys might be adding like some rubber bands on here to keep your fragile hands uh, cool from burning yourself. But aside from that, the Thundies are a really great addition to the robot. They help you start at a higher temperature, but also I really like it because I think it just unlocks a little bit more with the robot. It unlocks that consistency, but also you kind of get that peace of mind. If the temperature is as high as possible, you've done all the steps, you're kind of golden. So that's what's really cool. These are the robot thundies. Thanks for spending the time to watch a video. I'll see you guys around.